Paulo Luz, Cisco Luz, Maestro, Paulo Dickens, Menos do Vino Fute, Paulo Dickens, Paulo Sucos. I want to say good morning to Ms. Ryan. Ms. Ryan, I want to say good morning to Ms. Ryan. Ms. Ryan has, a, has been an educator in the Volusia County School System probably long as I've been on earth. Amen. 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 Glad to see you, Ms. Ryan. Amen. Amen. We thank God for what he's done and what he's going to do. Amen. 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 If you would turn with me to the book of Hebrews chapter 12. Hebrews chapter 12. chapter 12, starting at verse 1. Wherefore, seeing we have also our compassed about with so great a cloud of witnesses, let us lay aside every weight and the sin which does so easily beset us. And let us run with patience the race that is set before us. Looking unto Jesus, the author and the finisher of our faith, yes, yes. who for the joy that was set before him endured the cross, yes. despising the shame, and is set down at the right hand of the throne of God. Yes, yes. For consider him that endured such contradiction of sinners against himself, lest ye be weary and faint in your mind. Yes. Hebrews chapter 12, first three verses. Amen. Amen. I do want to thank for the topic. Church, we have a race to run. Church, we have a race to run. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Amen. Amen. And the race is not just ran for us, but it's also ran for the service of others. We have a race to run. And all of us know about racing and about running. Amen? And in a race, there is the beginning of the race, the middle part of the race, and the end of the race. And the most hardest part of the race is the middle part. That is when you have to pick up your fastest running. And that's when it requires most of your muscles to do the work in the middle part of the work of the race. It's the most tedious part of the race. But in our spiritual race, thank God that it doesn't require that I be physically fit. Because if it required that I be physically fit, as y'all can see, I, I probably wouldn't make it. But thank God that in this race, you must be spiritually conditioned. Amen. Church, we have a race to run. Amen. To run means to a, pursue a course continuously. And in the text it says that wherefore, meaning because of, or the reason why. Wherefore, seeing we also are compassed about with so great a cloud of witnesses, let us lay aside every weight and the sin which does so easily beset us. And if you look back into the 11th chapter of Hebrews, you'll see the witnesses that the writer is trying to get us to see. 
He gave us some examples. He gave us Abraham. He gave us Jacob. He gave us Moses. Sarah. David. Gideon. Samson. And all of the old patriarchs. He gave us example of the faith that we need to continue in this race. Amen. Some was sown in half. Yeah. Some had to dwell in mountains and cliffs oh, yeah. and high. Some was destitute of food and shelter and water yeah. for days. Yeah. Some was even pierced and killed, not giving up what they had, their faith in God for the pleasures of the world. And we, was, we are compassed about them for our witnesses. We can look at them for an example of the faith that we need to run this race. And he said, let us lay aside every weight and the sin which does so easily beset us or encamp us. Let us lay away, or lay away all the sins of, that the world and all the temptations and all the weight of the world worry about what shall I eat tomorrow and what shall I put on tomorrow and and how, what is the government is going to do with, and all these things. Let us lay that weight aside. And also the sin which does so easily beset us or entrap us. You might have a sin that you just seem to can't get away from. And the sin that you have might not be the same sin that I have. But either way, we have to lay it aside and put on Jesus Christ. Amen. We can look at all those witnesses, the old patriarchs, and, and use them for an example. 